What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today we got Wild Card Wednesday, which as you guys know for this week, Wild Card Wednesday is going to be flashbacks. Now we got some pretty cool flashback reveals, I don't know how the stats are going to look, I don't know how the cards are going to play out, but nonetheless, we got a Brady, which is pretty cool I guess, it is Tom Brady regardless, it's better than the old flashbacks used to get, but for today's video guys, today's Poodle Squad shout out, as you guys know, it's going to be Matt Pellegrino, shout out to Matt Pellegrino for being a part of the Poodle Squad, thank you so much for being a part. Uh, greatly appreciate it. If you guys want your own chance to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad, make sure to like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn that noti bell. Again, guys, still on a different setup. Computer's still busted. I want to keep that transparent so you guys understand the differences in the stuff. Tough to play Madden. My whole computer, everything was synced up. I haven't been able to play. But regardless of the issue, guys, I still appreciate you guys coming out. But let's get into the flashbacks. Let's check everything out. We got two unopened packs. Probably our Halloween stuff. Oh, we have our Durham versus the World. Thank you. Um, let's see what that is. You guys probably got this as well. Now the crown token, I guess we're participating in a few of them. And then we got our most scary, which I don't even open because we all know that's just a tip. I'm just going to leave that there, not waste your time on that one. But we have the flashbacks and packs. Again, guys, you can go ahead and go actually browse a store and go buy them with training, but I don't recommend that. My personal opinion is this is not a worthwhile thing because, of course, you could re-roll them. But because the trading value typically goes for the same price as the flashbacks, if not less, right? Like when they first, if you pull the best one when they first come out, you might get lucky and sell for slightly over, but after reduction, I feel like it's never worth it. So make sure if you guys do want the flashbacks, just pick them up off the auction block. Same thing with the Rising Stars, Heavyweights, Veterans. It's always the same case. Just pick them up off the auction block. Don't waste your time buying um, buying these. Save your training. A lot of training, guys. It's almost half 10,000 right there. Like, just save the training. Go pick them up. If you really need the training or you have training, use them something more worthwhile than spending it on the flashbacks. But let's get into the flashbacks on the block. Let's go check them out. They should be up by now. Uh, we'll go over all the stats, check them out, we'll be out of here quickly. Only doing one video to get, uh, today, guys, it's really tough to be out of the house recording somewhere else. It's really, like, it's just not as convenient, you know, it takes me longer as well. But let's check this out, so we got Tom Brady. So I want to start off with Tom Brady, because, of course, one of the bigger ones today, Tom Brady, 90 overall. Now, I feel like that's kind of a low overall for Tom Brady, regardless. Now, they have him on the Patriots, because it is a flashback, but again, he will get Bucks camp, you power him up, I'm pretty sure. So, if you guys are rocking a Bucks team, which actually won't be bad. If they end up dropping, like, if they end up dropping some, like, crazy Antonio Browns, I'm kind of hoping they do. Buck thinking could be nasty, but Brady got 59 speed, 88 throw power, 91 throw short, 87 throw uh, medium, 86 deep accuracy, 87 throw under pressure, 81 throw on the run, 91 play action. Now, to get Brady good, you're going to have to power him up and I guess put deep on him or do you go play fake? I guess play fake, right? Because Brady's more of a intermediate short guy in Madden. So I guess you go play fake. I mean, he's going to get some good. He's going to get some good abilities possibly. Maybe hot route master. I'm not entirely sure, but Brady's going to be decent. He's not going to be great. I mean, I don't think you take him over a far of any of those guys. So if you're a pocket passer, obviously Brady's not going to be your option. If you're a mobile guy, Brady's not your option. But if you're a theme team or you just like Brady or you're a budget squad, Brady could be pretty decent. Um, next, we got Le'Veon Bell, which I'm really excited about. I love Le'Veon Bell in real life, especially in the Steelers. I mean, I love that card art. You know he's going to be slow, though. 88 speed. Yeah, we expect that. 90 uh, excel. 92 agility. 85 carrying. 77 catching. 90 change of direction. 86 trucking. 85 break tackle. Powered up and chemmed up. What can you really do here? 89 speed too slow for me, in my opinion. You know, you got Saquon at 93 right now. With Sprint, you can get up to like 95. Like, uh, Le Le'Veon's just not going to compete in terms of backs, but he's still fun. I think his catching should be better than that. He's definitely a better uh, better catcher than that. Now, hopefully his route running's... No, his route running's bad too. I thought his route running would be better. He's a pro oh, 78 short's not horrible. 87 juke, 85 spin. He should have a good stiff... 90 stiff arm, yeah. Bell's always been a good stiff arm. A uh, stiff arm guy. But overall, this card, again, not usable. This is going to be the case of flashbacks. I mean, 90 overall, especially when we're heading towards 93 overalls, powered up at 94. Going to be tough, but still, still love me on Bell regardless. Next, we got CJ Mosley for the Gravens. Going to be a slower linebacker as well. This is like the week of slow. Although 85 speed is not horrible because technically Wagner also has that. So it's not horrible. 89 Excel, 74 strength, 91 tackle, 90 play rec, 79 block, 89 hit power, 79 zone. If you do power him up and come him up, he will get a hit power above 90. He'll get the 80 zone threshold. He'll get 80 block threshold as well as 86 speed, 90 excel. If you happen to run a Ravens team from guys, it's actually be really good in a Ravens team team. You can get his speed up probably to that. Uh, with Sprint and everything, you can get his speed above 90 probably. So on a Ravens team team, gonna be really good on a Jets team team, which is horrific. I don't know why you'd ever do that, but that's not bad as well. But again, not a great uh, card for yourself. Like if you're running like a meta team, like obviously CJ Mose is not gonna be your guy, but he's gonna be pretty decent in the run game. Gonna be pretty decent in the zone. Gonna be, old, he's just a well-rounded middle linebacker. Pretty much nothing else to say in terms of Mosley. Next, let's see what we got. We got, you know, let's go back to newest. And then we got Alex Mack. Now, Alex Mack might actually be pretty good. He should be a good run blocking center. Yep. All right. So this is where you actually can use someone. So 90 strength, 92 awareness, 84 pass block, 84 pass block power, 80 pass block finesse, 90 run block, 90 run block power, 91 run block finesse. So here's the thing. 
Alex Mack is going to be a great run blocker. Now you can actually use him because if you do power cam him up, the pa the pass blocking is only going to be middle pack. But again, if you're a run heavy guy, like if you're part of a if you're part of a run heavy team, you have Saquon and you can't afford a good center. Alex Mack can be a really good budget center because you're just running right. Now that's the thing when you get budget linemen, you have to pick. You're not going to get a budget lineman that gets all threshold. That's just the the fact of the game right there. So if you guys are a run heavy team, you can easily rock out with Mack as your center. So Mack's actually not a bad option here in my opinion. So we still got one more here so let's get to this last one real quick let's see oh we got adrian amos so adrian amos on the bears again he is a part of a packers theme team now the packers theme team defense is actually pretty good you got kenny clark jerry alexander so Darius smith amos um i'm probably missing some key guys there if you're a packers fan don't kill me 91 speed 91 excel 80 tackle 88 play rec 86 pursuit 84 man 90 zone 86 of power. Now, Adrian Amos is actually pretty good. If you power him up and chem him up with lockdown times five, guys, he will get 92 speed. He'll get 90 man. He'll get 90 zone. And he'll get 87 hit power. He's kind of like baby Jamal Adams. Now, here's the thing. If you can't afford Jamal Adams, Adrian Amos is going to be faster than Jamal Adams, but he's going to have slightly less hit power. But again, hit power is kind of irrelevant this year. As you guys know what this year's Madden, hit power is just a weird stat because fumbles just fumbles are unlikely. Like, I'm telling you guys, my user shoot guy, it's, it's, fumbles this year are more about positioning and more about, you know, level of contact more than the hit power rating. I'm telling you guys, you could have like 99 Taylor Mays hit power, anything you want, and they'll hit on their own and not force anything, but then you'll shoot a gap with your Isaiah Simmons user with an 80 hit power and force a fumble. Hit power is weird this year, so don't, don't take that with a grain of salt. Adrian Amos isn't bad. You get the speed zone, man. Decent height. He's not bad at all. I think Adrian Amos is probably one of the better ones. Now let's rank them real quick. You know, I love to rank these cards. So coming in at number one, I hope number five, sorry, number five, Tom Brady's going to be the worst one. Number four, Le'Veon Bell, because those just aren't two usable cards. Then we're going to go CJ Mosley, number three, because CJ Mosley actually is, um, you know, decent on a theme team. And then, of course, number four, we're going to go with Alex Mack, because he's a great budget center. And Adrian Amos is probably the best one. You could probably put him on a team and actually get some, you know, usage out of him. Or in the box, it'd probably be really good as a box linebacker with that speed, height, um, zone, man. You could really, you could man up, you could man him up in man blitzes. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do a big thumbs up, as always. If you want to join the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and as well, turn on that noti bell. Guys, about it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Let's keep it rolling. I know things are going to be a bit slow for me the next few days. I, you know, it's just the nature of this. It sucks. Hopefully, we can get our computer fixed before next gen, because that's big. You know, next gen comes out in about six days, so hopefully, we can get that rolling before then. We can only hope, though, right? But guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button. Enjoy the rest of your day. This should be the only video for the day, so that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.